In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a content locker plugin. And what a content locker is, it's a feature where the user must take action in order to access premium locked content. The action could be something like entering in their email or social sharing to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram in order to unlock that content. There are many great plugins that do this for WordPress, and one of them is Optin Panda by OnePress. Now, Optin Panda integrates directly with all major mailing services, such as MailChimp, Aweber, ActiveCampaign, and you can just scroll down here and see all the services that they integrate with. So I'm gonna show you now how to install it and activate it on your WordPress website. So here I am back at my WordPress website, and I've designed a resources page that has premium content. It's actually free content, but what I wanna do is have the user opt in with their first name and their email. So in this premium content, they're just PDF downloads of cheat sheets, policies, templates, and you know just tips for designing. So I'm gonna lock that with the Optin Panda plugin. Let's go to our plugins and we're gonna hit add new and let's search for Optin Panda and install now and then activate. Okay, so once I've activated it, this is gonna pop up right here. So let's go and click on new locker and I'm gonna create my first email locker. Let's enter the title, subscribe to unlock resources. So that's just our internal title and I'm just gonna copy and paste that here, which is the header that people are gonna see. And under here, you could just type in some stuff to let your users know what it's about. So please subscribe to unlock this content, just enter your email below. Sure, we'll do that. Button text, subscribe to unlock. And then after button, your email is 100% safe from spam. So this is how it looks down here. So with the free version of Optin Panda, you only get one theme. If you upgrade to the premium theme, you can get these other two themes here. So because I'm doing the free theme, I'm only able to do the great attractor, which is this one right here. And I wanna choose transparency just so that the user can kind of see what's going on in the background. And that way they're more enticed to enter in their email. And I'm gonna put it at the middle position. So I've already selected MailChimp as my mailing service before. And if you wanna change that, all you gotta do is click this change button and it's gonna pull up a new browser and you just select the service that you're with and just log in with your credentials. Okay, and just going down, you could do a full opt-in, a lazy double opt-in, or a single opt-in. So basically with the full double opt-in, after the user enters their email, they're gonna get a confirmation email, which is a double opt-in, which waits for them to confirm the subscription and then it unlocks the content. Um, even though it does recommend this. I'm just gonna put a lazy double opt-in, which unlocks the content immediately after so that they get the resources right away. But it still makes them confirm in their email the subscription option. And I'm gonna send my confirmation through MailChimp, which is something I've already done. And if you wanna learn how to do that, you can do so through one of my courses which is how to install a lead magnet. And that's at www.thisdesigngirl.com slash lead magnet. And in the form fields, I'm gonna do name and email. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go up here where it says manual locking. And I'm gonna copy this short code. And I'm gonna paste that into the resources page. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but let's hit publish first. Okay, so now that I've copied that short code, let me go back to my pages, go under resources, and here is my resources page, and I'm just gonna paste this under the text version. Okay, so let me just get rid of that one, and I'm gonna put it at the end. So you can see up here, email locker ID, 
And at the bottom, it's forward slash email locker with the open and close tags. And let's view this page. This pops up right here. So it says subscribe to unlock resources. Now, I don't really like the way that it's all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to go back and change that to make that at the top of the page. So let's go back into the editor and let's go back into Optin Panda, all lockers. And here I am right here. It says middle position. I'm going to put top position and hit update. And let's hit refresh. And there it is. So you can see the content locker here. And then in the background, you could see what you could potentially get once you take this action of entering your name and your email address. So the next thing you want to do is always test it out. So I am just going to type in my name here. OK, just ignore that. It's a bit wonky. And I think that's my email. So let's try hello at thisdesigngirl.com and subscribe to unlock. So there it is unlocked. So let's go back to our dashboard. And I just want to show you what happens when I just entered in my email. So here is the leads page. And whenever someone enters in their email, they're going to automatically be put here. And it's also going to automatically integrate with my MailChimp list. So I don't have to manually enter in the name every time. So Often Panda has great tracking features as well. So that's a quick and simple way to have a free content locker plugin installed on your WordPress website. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out my website, thisdesigngirl.com for more free tutorials.